Now let's proceed uh, further. What are the systems what we are going to see? We are going to see in this is domestic cold water system, domestic hot water, garden water sprinkler system, drainage system, vent and stone it. This all will be covered one by one uh, and uh, we will be seeing this later on. Okay, so chapter 1 let's talk about. Now introduction, plumbing is a system of piping. We have already read this, apparatus and fixture of water, distribution and disposal within a building and uh, we'll be seeing this later on project now some simple chemistry about the water so water is a chemical compound everyone knows this it is a liquid which boils at 100 degrees centigrade and freezes at 0 degrees centigrade and consists of water molecules everyone knows this uh, okay which boils at 100 degrees and freezes at 0 degrees centigrade and it consists of water molecules now each water molecule uh, contains of two hydrogen atoms joined to one oxygen atom it has a chemical formula h2o everyone knows this it is an excellent solvent and as a result normal drinking water contains dissolved substances such as iron magnesium sorry manganese calcium magnesium sulfate and fluoride so these are some solvents over here and dissolved substances and which is good for health we'll be seeing it also contains dissolved gases including oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Many of the above minerals are essential for the health and proper growth of our bodies. So that means the minerals what we have just now seen above, they are very important or essential plays a very important role in our uh, day to day life for maintaining our health and proper growth, growth for our bodies too, for our growing kids and all this. So. The presence of these minerals usually imparts a much more pleasant taste to water. Now pH stands for a potential of hydrogen. Now I think you people have seen the pH of water in some kinds of this uh, this water bottles and something or else I think you have been heard about this pH of water and all this. pH stands for potential of hydrogen. What is it I will say you? It refers to the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution it is the measure of the acidity or alkalinity of a solution the ph value range from 0 to 14 on a ph scale so therefore i do have a ph scale which measures from 0 to 14 and in this range the moment i test a water if i get a value in between 0 to 14 then i can say basically this 0 to 14 is nothing but acidic or alkalinity that means the water is acidic in nature it is alkaline in nature i'll get to know okay so the what happens over here is the moment we measure this the ph of natural water varies approximately 6 to 8 that means the water in a natural way which is a natural water it varies uh, the range of this is what 6 to 8 ph okay and it depends on the type of the rock which the water passes in some areas it might be as low as for example gratia due to acidic rain now it depends i mean the ph of the water depends on what mostly it is generally at 6 to 8 but it depends on what because whenever the water is falling or the rainfall it gets absorbed into it and when the water is being digged or when it is being made to pass through or we make a, a, a way so it depends on the type of rock from which the water has been passing which has been contacted with that rock it depends on that also but what happens in some cases it will be so low also that it goes to 4 also due to but what happens in that area because of the acidic rain it becomes very low okay now 0 1 2 3 4 to 6 is what is acidic i'll say okay less than uh, 6 you can say or till 6 you can say is what acidic the solution okay lesser than 7 and eight, after the 7 the solution is alkaline so the pH scale which ranges from 0 to 14 measures acidic, acidity and alkalinity acidity increases as the pH value decreases and the alkalinity increases as the pH value increases so pH less than 7 is what solution is acidic again it's not good pH greater than 7 solution is alkaline so this is how this mostly this should be a best thing over here this is neutral 
so this is the best water you can say so this is mo the most highest acidic one two three four five six over here and this is neutral again this is alkaline highest alkalinity till 14 okay what are the sources of the water over here so this is dam river lakes wells and bore okay and we do have hard water and soft water what is this hard water and soft water soft water contains little or no dissolved solids it is often brownish or yellow in color now hard water on the other hand will have a high calcium or manganese salt content we know this we have seen also when you compare with the hard water and soft water uh, hard water you can say which having as a high salt content as we know this and we can visibly see the scaling factor on a vessel or any utensil in which we carry the hard water you can see this scaling factor over there or the scales over there on that soft water is not because it is having very less content of the soil when compared with the hard water because it is treated water okay so that's what and how you can differentiate this both waters because when hard water if you have uh, applied with the soap or shaken with the soap it is not readily giving you mm, the lather when if you have a same kind of solution if you apply with the same kind of thing with this uh, in in means of a soft water i mean as some kind of solution you have shaken that it gives you, you rich lather over there so this is the difference you can easily easily uh, do this kind of experiment you can find out why because because of the uh, high salt content and, and what high calcium content it could not give a rich lather and not that easily also but when compared with soft water as a treated water it gives you a rich lather over here within the same time the table uh, below is what subdivided hard and soft water in various classes depending upon the hardness now it's ppm over here just as percentage means out of 100 so parts per million or ppm means out of a million same thing like 100 is what percentage we say it out of 100 and P ppm is nothing but in terms of parts per million that means we are talking about a percentage in a million usually describe the concentration of something in water or soil so 1 ppm is equals to 1 milligram of something per liter now you can identify ppm is nothing but 1 mg of something in per liter of water okay so or 1 milligram of something in per kilo in the soil now soft water class is what it has 0 to 50 ppm cooking and drinking it can be used for moderately soft water depends the ppm is percentage i mean in terms of parts per million is 50 to 100 cooking and drinking slightly hard is 100 to 150 washing and cleaning moderate hard is 150 to 200 hard is over 200 so this is what a kind of percentage as you know this nothing but 1 mg of something i said in terms of per liter of water so if you get if you can measure this if you got this okay this is much as ppm so you can visualize okay this is a soft water because i got a value less than 50 so that is for sure a soft water moderate soft which can be again you used for cooking and drinking 50 to 100 slightly hard above 100 to 150 so these are the ranges okay